All right, Matt. Today we are here to cover a very important topic. Who is the big Smi Rider in all of Blue Lock? Me personally, I think it's the rail. Nah, no way, man. It's definitely Shido. Calm down, calm down. I've done all my calculations, read every chapter and every sus thing someone has said in Blue Lock to determine the biggest me writer. And now it's time to show my list to the world. But before doing so, I post this type of content each Monday, so sub up and join the fam. That's all, thank you. Without further ado, we must go to the honorable mentions. For the first honorable mention, we got Isagi. I can't lie, Isaki is a huge meat writer. His whole career basically consists of meat writing other dudes abilities. I've heard this man say he's gonna devour some random dude so many times at this point that he can't be talking about soccer. This dude will literally always meat rides people until he knows how to beat them and makes them his puppy. Sometimes his wordplay is so sus sometimes you just gotta stop and be like, whoa. Pause. I remember while reading this chapter when Noah scored, I seen Isaki say the most sus thing I've ever seen known to man. Bro looked at Noah and said, So big! You can't defend yourself at that point. The only devouring you're doing at this point is someone else's me. For the second honorable mention, we got Baro. Listen, Baro has never meat rided anyone, but he meat rides himself too much. Bro thinks he can score 12v1 without passing the ball and cries like a bitch when he doesn't get his way. This dude calls himself the king and everyone else a donkey and expects you to be alright with that. Bar the type of dude to punch his schmeat while saying to himself, Oh yes, who's the king? Yes you are, Baro. Actually, Baro is that one dude on the register that took a picture of his own booty and beat to it. Hell, he probably even gave himself head. 200 plus chapters in luck and he finally took advice from someone else and bro was not listening to a pro player. Alright, that's all for the honorable mentions, so let's get to the good part the top three at number three in the meat riding games we got the zesty demon shido ryusei at the top three in terms of me riding shido is the lowest but he's just too zesty not to add we've seen this dude numerous times the jizz on the field has scoring a goal with his ah oh, there's the dopamine it's too much looking ass i honestly think that his celebration in the third selection after he scored was just as zesty as the u20 celebration bro started buzzing all around the field which i can only assume was him spewing out milk but Blood got horny on the field by scoring a goal. Also, there's no way he did not just himself on the field during the U20 game. Because right after he said this notoriously zesty line, he said, that's the stuff. So there's no way that he didn't. Don't even get me started on Say for encouraging his attitude. Bro started risking him up on the field with the Cinderella dialogue. Then called Shido his little horny demon. Shido even asked for Sei's number on the field. They were playing a game. I swear, I don't know how Sei can be that zesty with a straight and serious face. Shido even jumped on Sei's back trying to ride Sei's meat mid the game. All right, that's enough flaming for Shido and Sei. Now we get into controversial territory. At number two in the meat riding Olympics, we got Ryo Mikage. <coughs> Nani, there's no way. Hold on, Nate. Let me explain. Okay, so Rayo and number one were neck and neck because Rayo is the OG Blue Lock Meat Rider. If you even say the word Meat Rider and Blue Lock in the same sentence, everyone will think you're talking about Rayo. This dude has been riding Nagi's meat before the series even started. Hell, his whole weapon is based off of riding other men's meat, copying their abilities 99% accurately. Bro's deadass been calling Nagi unironically his treasure for the entire series. The second selection, Bro then got his heart broken by Nagi because he wanted a new bitch, Isagi. Nagi deadass looked at Ray and was like, he was a side hole the entire time and dipped. Even Block additional time knew how much of a meat rider in Rayo was, having him fantasize about Nagi, saying, Nagi will come back. Nagi won't come back. Even in Manchester and City game, Nagi was the ex that came back after not finding anyone better, and Rayo still took him back. To Rayo's credit, he was playing hard to get, but still. Bro even said mid game, I only have eyes for you, Nagi, my beloved, with his meat riding gas. Even after the game, when he and Nagi made up, when they were both butt ass naked in the hot spring, look at the excitement on Rayo's face to jump on Nagi's meat. Just look at his face! Bro was so excited to be jumping on Nagi's meat, he was smiling. Alright. Now, we got the number one spot. We have someone who's not familiar for the anime only Blue Lock fans. That is because he's been lurking in the shadow of another man's meat his entire life. At number one, we got Alexis Ness. Do I even need to say anything, bro? This guy's only purpose in the show is to literally be Kaiser's lackey. 
Even Isaki called him Kaizuzaki. Bro is such a meat rider that he keeps a handkerchief on the field just in case Kaiser needs it. Like what the fuck? When Kaiser and Isaki were going back to back talking shit to each other, you know what Ness did? This motherfucker started clapping. Actually, picture it out. Imagine you just like someone and you're like, uh, your breath stank. Then your homie just starts clapping uncontrollably. And that's the type of dude to take lessons from the turbulence guy just to find a new way to clap for Kaiser. Bro, after that man trying to the game, bro literally brought glasses for Kaiser to not hurt his eyes. And Kaiser threw champagne in his face. And you all know what Ness did? He didn't do shit. Bro just cleaned himself off when Kaiser started saying shit like, I'm a kill or I'm gonna skin him. Ness left the room. Bit his lips so hard he started bleeding. I was so pissed that Kaiser was showing Isagi more attention than he was showing Ness. Like I don't even know what to say. Ness is the pinnacle of meat riding. Bro even tried to stop Isagi from scoring because Kaiser couldn't and failed. The only reason people want to see Ness's backstory is to figure out why he's such a meat rider to Kaiser. On top of that, his warplay just screamed zest. And the reason why he's over Rayo is because at least Rayo focused on himself for a little while. And would never take that level of disrespect from Nagi, but Ness's only purpose in the series is to do just that. So, with that, the biggest meat riders in Block comes to a conclusion. If you disagree, comment down below and I'll probably fight you on it. Alright, like, subscribe, that's it for me, yob yob.